Look at them fools. Got romper room going on in this house today. This is what Minion does 75% of his life. Yeah. Oh, let's see what we got going on here. Oh. Time to do some work. See you in a sec. going on everybody welcome to into my gt entertainment and i am joel nice to see you here on this lovely day and as you can see we are putting some leds on electro i've got to go on and take a look at the package and see what i need to do and how to plan it out but that's what we're going to do today i'm trying to decide if i want to lift her all the way up and uh so that way that boy could get under there or whatever but we're going to go ahead and uh do an opening of the box See what we have in it and uh, go from there. See you in a sec. All right, everybody. This is my Govee undercar light strip. Um, it is the underglow kit from Govee. Um, they were nice enough to send me this. So let me show you what comes in the package. Once you open it, you have their literature, you know, if you like it. And if you have any issues, go to over here. If you like it, go over there get into their programs as you can see it is controlled wirelessly through apple or google so we're good there you have the user manual how to do the install kind of simple it's only like a page so it shouldn't be that hard and then a disclaimer of if you do something wrong blah 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 what is in the package himself is a transformer right here Lift that the right way, right there. You have your wiring right there. I am hard wiring it, as you can see. I have my ring terminals outside. I'll show you what those look like, but it's pretty simple negative, positive, kind of get it right. Um, you got all your wires attached, and then everything's there. And it also comes with some zip ties, some brackets to hold it up in place, and some screws. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go work out a plan on this and um, figure out how I want to lay it out. And we'll go from there. So we'll see you in one second. All right, everybody. What I did is you have your two connectors, your ground and your negative right there your ground excuse me and your positive i got them tied together because what you have to do is in the car is find a happy spot where the box will come up and you have enough room to set it for the front and the rear i'm thinking about coming up through there right there where that is i'm kind of playing around with the ideas right now so um i'll get into it a little more and as you can see i got it laid out I uh, just have to decide where I want it to go and go from there. So, see you in a sec. All right, everyone. So, what I did here, I found a way of bringing it up. Um, I routed my ground and power. So, the power is going to go here off the block, and then it's going to be grounded under here. You really can't tell, but I'll show you that in a little bit. And right now, I'm just kind of figuring out my wiring. Um, trying to figure out the best route. Make sure nothing gets snagged, you don't get stuck around any of the moving parts that you need to worry about. Um, at this point, two people would probably be good because you could have someone high and someone low, but you can do it on your own. So um, we'll catch you in a few minutes. All right, everybody. Um, I did some rewiring. I didn't like the way that the wiring was going, the way I had it the first time. Um, so what I did is I came up through the frame right here. There's a little hole. I did that, all this wire loom is the wire that came with it. And then I tapped it off and that's where it's grounded under here. And then the power is coming from here. The remote controls everything that's on your phone. So you don't need to have um, the other stuff going on. And then um, I checked all that and down here, see if I got enough light to show y'all. 
uh, it's right in here. The brain is up behind the panel. So I took the panel down with that screw right there and that screw right there. And I wired it all the way around up to here. So it comes out at the bottom over here on this corner. So we're going to go ahead and um, try to button up some of this stuff tonight. So we'll see. All right, everyone. This is kind of a mock-up of what I'm doing. I have it um, sitting with tape and stuff on it. So you can see it's all taped up under there. Just trying to figure out how I want to mount it. So yeah, we're getting in there and as you can see from the side, you don't see it. Let me turn down the lights real fast. All right, and this is uh, what it looks like with the lights off. Just kind of a preview. And like I said, you gotta think about it, it's a couple feet off the ground too, so uh, feet. So we're just kind of working around it. Trying to figure out what we like. And then I'll have to go in there and route the wiring. As you can see, it's just laying on the ground. Right now, it's all temporary. So let me know what y'all think. Just a little bit of uh, LEDs that we're working on tonight. Didn't think it would take me as long. This is just kind of a mock-up, but I kind of picky how I like my wiring. So, you know, this is what it's going to kind of look like. Not too bad. All right, everyone. The what I found out the best way to do is to work backwards. Um, start with your rear lights first. That way you know the length that you need to run the side and up to the front. You got plenty from side to front. It's just when you get into the rear, you're getting, your real estate's getting a little short. So what I did is I came up the panel right there in through the molding and came down right here I'm gonna to have to adjust that real quick but I'm just leaving myself some space so I can sit there and mount the light on the back and then finding the light location on the back was a little tricky too but I think I found something that's gonna work um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that part done and we'll see you in a sec all right everyone as you can see I got the back strip mounted um, it's 3m taped in that corner sorry about that right there in the center and right there in that corner. Um, then it has these little rubber, I guess, braces that you could put on it so it screws in so they don't go flying off. So that's in that way. And then the way I routed it was right up here, going that way. Sorry about that. Ugh. Over the muffler. And then back around this way. And up the channel and I'll show you how it goes around all right then it comes up right here goes through the whole wall back around over to this side and then you'll see a couple little wires right there and then that's what goes down to the bottom so I'll go ahead and get that part started and show you what that looks like all right everyone now as you can see I got this strip up and sorry about how close it is but I'm kind of under the car it goes up and around, then it comes around this side, goes up, goes up over there, then up into the fender well. I'll show you that in a second. All right, and from that point right there, it goes up on that curve and goes straight up, up in here, and then pops up, up there, and then comes back around on this side, comes down over here, and let me show you what I got going on on this side. Alright, and where it comes out right here. And it's stuck right across the front. And then off to the other side. So, I pretty much got to do the same thing on this, that side that I did on this side. 
so I don't know if I'm gonna record it unless something weird happens but um just giving y'all a little update and we're getting there almost there man all right everybody this is the driver side as you can see no wires showing either it runs across there up through the middle here and as you can see sorry I have it all mocked up and done so I'm gonna put the wheel on show y'all what it looks like let me show you how the other side skirt came out all right everybody this is the other side as you can see it's all tucked away it's right there that's how it comes in and it gets tucked under and that's the ending of it so yeah let me go ahead and uh get this down and we'll show you what it looks like on the floor all right everyone here's what it set looks like in blue in the dark Here's a little breathing effect. Okay, get back our today. Here's a little twinkling effect. It's called seizure mode, I guess. Jeez. Well, there you go, everybody. Electra's got some lights. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that video. It took me a little longer because I'm a little more facetious with how I like my wiring to go. But as you can see, it works fine. Um, it's all on the phone. So, yeah. So, we'll go ahead and close out this video. See all right, everybody. That is the video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said, it was a nice little gesture from Gobi to uh, go ahead and throw me those lights. So now they're on the car. You saw how I installed them. Like I said, I went a little above, you know, how you run the wiring and how you uh, set it up, but that's just me. Um, but like I said, you could usually probably with two people do this install in probably roughly about an hour, hour and a half. Um, it took me about a day and a half because I was by myself and I needed to work and then I had to finish it up and then I had to plot out how I wanted all the wiring and stuff under the hood. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you all want to see more stuff like this, drop a comment, let me know. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and have a good one.